A mother is speaking out tonight after she says Candy, laced with a drug, put her daughter in the hospital. <laughs> That was Autumn Richards, her mother, recording the video in disbelief that her child had been exposed to a drug. Doctors told her it was THC hidden in candy. According to the St. John's County Sheriff's Office, they've identified the teen who gave the candy to the 10th grade student, but so far he has not been arrested. News for Jackson reporter Janice Harris is live at Bartram Fail High School. Janice, how is Richards doing now? Autumn Richard is doing much better. You know, that incident happened here at the high school behind me. She told her mother about the incident and she initially thought it was just normal candy. But whatever was inside of that candy sent her to the hospital. Autumn Richards is a happy 10th grader at Bartram Trail High School, but all of that changed last Thursday. Richards thought another classmate gave her sweet gummy candy. Instead, he gave her gummy laced with drugs. Autumn. Autumn. The teen's mom, Beth Richards, took this video in the ambulance in disbelief, trying to understand what was happening to her child. Her eyes were beginning to become fixed and dilated and and just, I mean, she wasn't blinking. It was a, it was a pretty pretty horrific sight. Doctors told Richards it was synthetic THC, a chemical component in marijuana. According to the St. John's County Sheriff's Office, the teen was exposed Thursday. A boy gave her the gummies and deputies have sent evidence to be tested at a lab to confirm it was THC. The teen that gave out the drug laced candy could be in serious trouble. The St. John's County District saying, quote, this incident constitutes a level four offense in our student code of conduct, which is the most serious. The teen is making progress day by day, but her mother says there have been moments when the drug still affects her body. Yeah. At moments, she will shake without control and has to be spoon fed. Hello, A horrible moment for this teen and her family. That's why her mom is speaking out. It could have happened anywhere. It, it, Regardless of this happening at school, that doesn't matter. This could have happened at, you know, McDonald's. It could have happened at a playground. It could have happened at home. It do, the location does not matter. Richards hopes every parent will have a serious conversation with their child about not taking candy from others, no matter how safe it appears. And the student that gave out that candy has not been arrested yet. The investigation is ongoing. Then it will be given to the state attorney's office to decide if they're going to file charges or if they're going to file a subpoena for him to appear in court. In the meantime, if you ever know of anyone that may have been exposed to something like THC or some form of poison, there is a number you can call 1-800-222-1222. Reporting live at Bartram Trails High School, Janice Harris, Channel 4, the local station. Well, Janice, that video is jarring to see Richards uh, reacting that yes, way. Yes, it is. So uh, according to Florida Poison Control, we understand that calls have tripled for exposure to marijuana edibles. This seems to be a, a growing problem. Yes, according to Poison Control, the numbers have tripled. They're already on pace to beat the record for last year. This is another tell sign that parents need to have this discussion. But anyone, they need to be aware of what someone is offering them. And just because it looks okay doesn't mean it's safe for them. All right, Janice Harris reporting live for us. Thank you.